Hey, this is David and Ella with Creation Creek, and we would like to wish you a happy holidays and a Merry Christmas from our family to yours. And don't forget about Hanukkah. Oh, happy Hanukkah too. And hold on to your grill because we're about to show you an exciting project for this holiday season. Be right back. Okay, in order to get your instructions for your holiday Creation Crate box, you're going to want to go to www.creationcrate.com slash happy dash holidays. Then, once you hit enter, that will bring you to a pop-up that asks for a password. Your password will be IRMV93. Then you're going to hit OK. After you hit OK, it will bring you to a, a the Creation Crate web page. That will give you the holiday configuration layout and the Christmas and Hanukkah configuration layout. And then you scroll down to that next document and click on it, and that will download the PDF with all the instructions. It'll open up on your screen, and you have all the instructions. And we're going to go ahead and show you how to do that right now. Okay, we are ready to do our holiday Christmas Hanukkah project um, and show you guys just basically how to do it. Um, although, you know what, Ella, I was thinking, because we're here in the South now, and uh, we really don't have any snow, and it was like almost 70 degrees today. It just doesn't really feel like Christmas. It doesn't. I, mean, I feel like there's something missing. There's. So That's it right there. All right. Yes. Okay. I feel much better. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. All right. So a um, couple things that you're going to need. Well, that first of all, we'll talk about the things that you, that come in the Creation Crate project. You're going to have. A breadboard. You are going to have some resistors. There's a bunch of these guys in here. There are some jumper wires. And you see I've already peeled mine apart. Probably a little thing in there that tells you to peel them apart. Uh, there are a bunch of LEDs. So we wanted to make sure that whatever color you wanted to use for your project, uh, we had a bunch of colors in there, including all the white ones, which is what we're going to use for ours today. Um, you'll have your Arduino microcontroller. And um, this is your USB cable to hook up your Arduino to your computer. And then you have a 9-volt battery and this little cable so that when the Arduino is not plugged in, you will be able to power it with this 9-volt battery so you can put it somewhere on your mantle or, or table or something like that. There are, uh, oh, also, I forgot the most important part. Uh, we, have these really cool, <laughs> we have these really cool cards. So you get to choose whether you want to do the Christmas card um, or the Hanukkah card. Um, or happy holidays. So whichever one suits you, you can use that. There's a couple of things that you'll need uh, household items. So Ellie, will you tell them what they need to gather around the house? You'll need scotch tape mm -hmm. and a sharp pencil. And then there are also some things that aren't required but will help with the process later on, which is a piece of cardboard, a ruler, and a pair of scissors. Okay. Uh, so. <clears throat> One thing is, I know that this is probably the first electronics and coding project for many people, and uh, we've had over 3,000 in the last year, pretty amazing, 3,000 people use Creation Crate to learn some electronics and coding, and we've gotten a lot of feedback, and so in the new instructions, you will notice that there are some Facebook Messenger tokens, Messenger codes here. We do have a video, we'll, we'll put a link um, in the description for this as well so that you can uh, learn how to use Facebook Messenger to snap a picture of this code and it'll show you a short video on what this component is used for. So we're trying to add more of the learning experience and help you understand more about what each of these components does so that once you're done doing this project you'll be able to do lots of others. So we have some definitions of those terms, also there's definitions of the terms for um, the different coding commands that we'll be using. So this is a new thing that we have added to this instruction manual that hasn't been in some of the others. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, put everything together. The first thing that you're going to do is take all of your resistors. Now, my resistors may look a little bit different than yours just because this is what I had laying around and you're going to get the nice kit with all the matching stuff. So don't worry if they're a different color than the ones that I'm showing you here. Now, the configuration for the board depends on which project you're doing. We're going to do the one that's the Christmas and Hanukkah because those LEDs are lined up the same. If you're doing the holiday project, then those LEDs are in different places. So that's the only thing that you have to pay attention to. 
So what I'm going to do here, let me zoom in a little bit more. Okay. Okay. On the right hand side is where I'm going to put these resistors. If you don't know what a resistor does, again, use the Facebook Messenger tokens. Just snap a picture and it'll take you to a video that tells you exactly what they do. But I'm going to uh, put the right side, and I marked these also already so it'll be a little bit faster. Might take you a little bit more time when you're looking at the diagram. But I'm putting the right one and the negative rail here. So the right side of where I'm going to put the LEDs, which is what I'll do next. I am putting in the resistor. So the resistor on the right side going into the negative rail. doesn't really matter where at on the negative rail that you put it as long as it's connected okay okay now that all of my resistors are in place I'm gonna put the LEDs the only one thing that you really need to remember about the LED and that is there's a long side and a short side. Long side is your anode which is where the positive current flows and the short side is the cathode which, which is where the negative sorry there you go long side short side positive negative. Since we just put all the resistors in the negative spot we're going to put this short side in the same hole that we did for the resistor and then the long side, we're going to skip a hole and put it on the left. So long goes on the left. Do that all the way through here. So the first one. I have this one clear LED, so I'm going to put that one at the top in the center. common mistake to put the long and the short side in the wrong spot so just make sure long on the left there we go Okay, now, missing one, there it is. Use this guy. A little shorter, but doesn't really matter. Okay, now, I've got all of my LEDs in the breadboard, all of these resistors hooked to the negative side, and the next thing we're going to do is hook up the Arduino. We're going to need a bunch of jumper wires, so hopefully you've already pulled them all apart. The color of the jumper wire does not matter. I even have some short ones and some long ones. I think all of yours are going to be the same size. Don't worry about it. All we're doing is making the connection. Okay. And we're going to hook those up to the Arduino, to these pins. So I'm going to put these two connections. This is where the USB connects, and this is where our uh, power from our, our barrel plug adapter is. I'm going to hook these two through nine are going to go to each of these LEDs. We are going to have a positive current running through there. So let me show you how we do that. So here's number two. I'm going to put this in number two. I'm going to put number two right here into this positive side. So the same side as the LED. Now it doesn't need to go in the same hole like we did the resistor. As long as it's in this row, you're good. Uh, if you do want a refresher or you don't know how a breadboard works, Again, we do have the videos. You can go to Facebook Messenger and take a little snap of picture of that token, and it'll tell you exactly what to do. So now I'm going to go ahead and do these all in order. So I'm doing uh, number three goes to the next one. Number four. So I did them all in order on the bottom.
if five is going to this last one on the bottom. Okay. All right, so again, like I said, I've got some short ones, so I'm gonna start with those. So this goes number six. Number six is going to this first LED. Number seven. Here. Number eight. And lastly, number nine. Going all the way to the end here. Okay, so these jumper wires, you're going to want them out of the way when we go ahead and put the card on top. So you can kind of push them down into the middle there and sort of push them back out of the way just so they're a little bit lower than the LEDs and get them out of the way a little bit. Okay. Two other things that I need to do. I need to hook the negative side, this ground on the Arduino to negative rail here doesn't matter where I put it and actually it'd probably be a little bit better if I put it farther down because that'll stretch the wire out okay so that's fine and then I'm going to take and I'm, I'm going to jump the negative from one rail to the other okay so what I've done is I've hooked this ground up to here the negative and then I've taken and put another jumper wire that goes from here from this negative so that I can get the negative side up here on the top as well so pretty much my wiring is done got all the LEDs in put these aside you might want to take a little bit of time to just make it look neat and pretty now I've already loaded the code on here there'll be a link if you don't know how to do that how to set up the code um, all of that, we have some tutorials for you to use, and um, back this out a little bit. So if you're just getting started, we'll have a link for you to uh, learn how to put the code on. But I already did that. I'm now going to take this barrel plug adapter and my 9-volt battery, snap it in here, and then I'm going to power this up make sure that everything's working and I should see these to start uh, start blinking and once it get go gets going they will be a little bit more random and more of them will start lighting up okay so now that we know that it's working we're going to set up the card Okay, we're going to do that over. Okay, I'm going to take this barrel plug adapter, okay, and our 9-volt battery, snap this guy together, and go ahead and plug this into the Arduino, and guess what? They should start lighting up at random. Awesome. So, that's working. We're going to need to get the card set up now. Okay, so now we're going to set up the card. Uh, basically, in the instructions, it tells you you're just going to need a pencil or something sharp to poke a hole and some tape. I've got a couple of other things that will help me a little bit. I've got a little piece of cardboard. What I did with that is I, is I poked one hole in here, so it's a, almost about the same size as the pencil. Okay, and then I'm going to take this cardboard. You can use a cloth, anything that's just going to allow you to poke through the paper and not mess up your table or whatever you're working on. Now, each of these cards here has some marks. You can see here there's a circle in each of these bulbs. So that's where the um, LEDs are going to line up for the project. And all you need to do is go try to get right in the center, too, but get right in the center, poke a little hole in there. In the center, poke a little hole. You see we've done this a couple of times. But now what I found is easy is if I take the pencil and then... I can just find where that bigger hole is and then carefully poke it through till it's the right size. All right, and then here's the other one that I did. Carefully poke it through 
until it's about the right size. Okay? Not a real big deal if it's too big or too small. The light's going to shine through either way, and you know you can always fix it if you like. Okay. Now, one other trick to get really nice fold lines on here, I score the back of it, and that basically just means that I'm I'm going to make a scratch on it. So I take this ruler, and here let's line up the top one. I take a ruler or any kind of straight edge, just line it up on the dotted line here. See that? And then I put it down carefully so it stays straight. I'm going to use a, just the tip of this pair of scissors, but anything that's, you know, not sharp that it's going to cut it, but sharp enough to put a little score line in there. Oh, I moved my ruler. Basically, I'm just scratching a little bit the back of the paper. You can kind of hopefully see that line. But then look, folds perfect. Okay, so I'm going to do that on both sides. Uh, this is an example of the holiday card, but you know we configured it for the Christmas card and also for the Hanukkah. You can see that the little holes are all in the same spots, right? Um, so we have our project all done. I'll flip this around so you guys can see it. Okay, and you can see you've got the top row of lights. They're all lined up. You might have to do a little bit of wiggling around to make sure everything's lined up when you're done. But essentially, we're going to take a piece, a couple pieces of tape. I'll take four little pieces of tape and I'm setting them aside. That'll make it easier for me. Okay. So then, remember, these wires will kind of get in the way, so no big deal. Just line it up so that it's centered on the board and you can kind of see where these lights are going to line up. And I'll turn this around, and I just want to make it nice and flush on the back. A couple pieces of tape. I'll do it on this side, too. And Ella did this last time, but now she is manning the camera. So we've got everything set up. I take my battery again, plug it in, okay, and you see these start to light up. Not This one's lined up perfectly, as you can see, but these are a little bit off. I can take my pencil um, and move these around, and you know what? That's another one of Ella's great ideas. I was messing around with it a million different ways, and she just took the pencil. I was like, here, why don't you do it like this? Yeah, okay, smarty. All right, and if you want, look at that. You could even poke the LED right through there, right through the hole, so that'll work. But again, you get the picture. You're going to finagle it around a little bit, make it look good. So I'm going to have Ella turn the lights out just so we can see what this is going to look like in the dark. And there you go. Now the idea is that you'll set it sideways on your table, your mantle, or something like that. And you can kind of tuck the Arduino and the battery a little behind it. We'll give you a couple of pieces of mounting tape. Um, and you can just do that. Okay, now that we've gotten the project done, again, you can fiddle with the LEDs and make sure that they line up. But what you'll do is get sideways, and then you can put it on a table, on the mantle. And I think maybe some of these jumper wires are going to be a little too short for you to be able to get this all the way around the back. But you can take this battery, put one of the mounting squares, there's a double-sided tape mounting square on there, and then tape this right to the back. And then you can show off your Arduino project. Yeah, get that back of that here. How's that? Okay, so you can just mount that to the back. That'll help keep everything uh, stable and straight. And you can show off your awesome project. I hope you guys had fun putting together your holiday project. And look forward to more projects from Creation Crate every single month. And happy, happy Merry, Merry Hanukkah. Have a great year.